how much effort goes into this race. Being being part of a, a one-off program, um, their, their, their sole focus is this race. And, uh, you know, with, with the other guys having to do the four races leading into this, it may have put them on the back foot a little. Well, we're going to have, if it doesn't rain anymore, an hour and 15 minutes of all-out speed trying to get into the field for the 500. Remember, the field is full at this point. On the bubble is Alex Lloyd with a four-lap average. There he is, 223.472. He's back in his garage watching the proceedings on the racetrack. Said he fully expected to be bumped. He didn't seem like it would be any surprise if he got bumped if it dried. So they're in the process of trying to throw a new setup on his car. He expects that Danica will have the kind of speed to knock him out. One warm-up lap completed. Next time, she'll take the green flag. Danica Patrick has been in six previous Indianapolis 500-mile races and led the race for 19 laps in her rookie year of 2005, driving for Ray Hall Letterman Racing. She's been with Andretti Green and Andretti Autosport for the past four years. We have the speeds. We know about the kind of speeds that her teammates turned into turn one. They were turning in through the trap about 228 or 229 on their first lap. So once she does get the green here, we'll keep an eye on that trap. All right, here we go. Danica Patrick as Bev, her mom, looks on. Danica Patrick on the track trying to get into the 500-mile race in the final hour and 15 minutes. 227, sorry, Wally, as she turned in, but her speed in the corners is up a lot. Hey, so, look at the tracker right now. It's the 25th. Yes, they haven't trimmed it out as much to get the super straight line speed, but her corner speed is great. Actually, at the back straights, 232 miles an hour. Now she has it cranked up. And she looks pretty comfortable um, to me. She's not using all of the tracks, so I think this is going to be a reasonable run for her. First lap for Danica Patrick, 225.411. Very fast, well enough to get into the starting lineup. I think she's going to be relieved with that first lap. Absolutely. Seeing that one on your dash, that, that always makes you feel better. Alex Lloyd looks in anguish as Danica is on her run. This is slipping just a little, but it'll be, if she keeps it together here in turn four, it'll still, well, she's going to be right even 225, might slip in the 224s. Second lap for Danica's 225.017. You can kind of feel the anxiety here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fans must be going wild. <laughs> well, I, I think there are a lot of people that couldn't imagine an Indianapolis 500 without Danica Patrick in it. Good it's straightaway speeds right there. 231 we saw going into three. And sorry to jump over you there, Wally, but right. it's... Uh, you know, these, these last couple of laps, the, the car definitely starts to move around a little bit more. And it's about staying on top of the controls within the cockpit to, to keep being able to, to maintain that consistency, which when it's so tight, the field, it becomes very, very important. You have the weight jackers and, and the roll bars, and, and it may look easy, but yeah, you're very, very busy within the, within the cockpit itself. Now, will you, Dan, I mean, you know, you've been around this place enough. Would you change it? like on it for each end of the racetrack yeah particularly yesterday when it was gusty um yeah i was having to move weight to the left to get through turn four and then obviously i was moving it back to the right to get through turns one and two but, but like i say from, from from experience around here you really got to stay on top of the race car here is the checkered flag and danica patrick's fourth lap is 224.453 she has qualified for the 500 in good shape 224 Point eight six one miles an hour is the average, and she right now slots into the middle of row number nine, and Alex Lloyd has been bumped out of the race. <laughs> 